Hi and welcome to my Eumastics care guide. So if you're going to get a reptile, I would definitely advise getting a Eumastics. But remember, just before you get one, you have to make sure you can do it. Sometimes they need large space, a lot of dedication. They are quite expensive as well. Now the Eumastics is very expensive for one reason. It's a full vegetarian and lots of people are deterred by live food like crickets and mealworms and things like that. So they're great when it comes to that sort of stuff. For me, every day I feed them leaves like rocket, lettuce and things like that. You should check up on what type of leaves. There are certain videos for that. Now I go outside sometimes I'm, I pick dandelions which he likes eating. Remember with leaves and stuff like that always wash them to get rid of um, insecticides and things like that. For him he'll eat the stem, the leaves and the flower of a dandelion. He'll eat lentils, butternut squash, carrots, loads of things he will eat. One thing he won't eat though, <laughs> actually a few things it's quite funny spinach brussels sprouts and broccoli i'm with him on that apart from broccoli <coughs> so they live in a sort of desert thing you need sort of a heat lamp and a uv lamp this is sort of all in one so it's just the sun really for him he's got a nice place to bask this wood and mm, rocks and things like that some people say you shouldn't get sand, some people get rocks. If you're going to get sand, I think it's good to check it because not always is it healthy for them to have uh, sand from Builders Merchant, but there are divided opinions on that. Um, so this has got a quite large tank. Um, some of them are glass, like that one, but this one's got sort of... Um, a wire sort of casing it also goes down into a blue box through there so it's got a lot of tunnel like a sort of burrow it would have in the wild um, it does need a bit of a small one because he's got bigger now when they start off they're tiny probably around this big Geomastics are really small and cute when they're babies but really they get much bigger they do get a lot bigger, they, so you have to be wary <laughs> when you're getting one. They uh, can bite, and they've got a quite spiky tail, but they are passive. They'll only do that if they feel uh, really threatened, so that's not going to be a problem, really. Um, when If you do get one, you should wait one to two weeks before doing sort of touching and interacting as this is relatively new and i'm not the best at touching like that so he's still a bit wary when it comes to things like that but he's great with hand feeding so yeah if we are going to get a small one i wouldn't recommend a sort of wire mesh and wooden box like this but you can get it so make sure there's a place for him to sort of hide it might be a sort of hut sort of thing or it might be a tunnel also he needs a bit high up not too high up because he can get sunburnt and so yeah now for the poos like this one well they yeah you, they've got poo so you will have to get them the best thing to do is wait for the poo to dry and then pick it up because they're squishy don't think it's popcorn sometimes they've got a little bit of whiteness next to the poo and it can resemble popcorn when i first got a zizu that's the first thing i thought but no it's their poo um there are lots of types of eumastic so be careful if you've watched the one about a certain type I'm not really sure because I didn't get this from a pet store. It was someone who was giving this away. But yeah, I mean, they're nice, they're friendly. 
And then they come out during the day, that's when they're most active. They're not nocturnal. They'll get up in the morning, probably do a tiny bit of basking, then eat, go back, then eat again, go back, and then go into their hole. So that's their day <laughs> planned out. Um, so yeah, they're friendly, they're lovely. I definitely recommend it. Some people say they're intermediate reptiles. Some people say they're starter, but they're very easy to take care of. They don't actually need water, as they would live in the desert In um, uh, if they were in the wild. They wouldn't really drink water at all in their life. So just make sure that what you're feeding them is juicy. It might be a juicy leaf, or keep the water on it when you've washed it for um, taking away of the insecticides. So there's lots of things you can get. I mean, uh, they do have special requirements sometimes and always um, try and check up on their health. They will shed their um, scales and that's uh, some normal thing for them. You might find them just around. It's good to take the poo out and put him in the bin, but you should um, usually do a sort of big cleaning once a month and so yeah that's probably all I've got to say on the Euromastics they're lovely pets although can be expensive you should always be careful when buying them um, but there we go I really recommend them they're kind they're friendly they're lovable so yeah this is how it would look like their cage or hutch or tank. I'm not sure how, how many gallon tank or hutch you would get, but for a small one around this size, when it gets big like a uh, zizu, um, get a bit bigger. And that's what we're going to do soon. So thanks for watching my video. Goodbye.